Mavis is a diesel engine who works for the quarry company, shunting trucks and their sidings. She has six small wheels hidden by side plates just like Toby's. Mavis is young and full of her own ideas. She loves rearranging things too, and began putting Toby's trucks in different places every day. This made Toby cross. Trucks, he grumbled, should be where you want them, when you want them. Fiddlesticks, said Mavis, and flounced them up. At last, Toby got I can't waste time playing hunt the trucks with you. Take them yourself. Mavis was pleased. Taking trucks made her feel important. At the station, Diesel oiled up to her. Toby's an old fosspot, she complained. Diesel sensed trouble and was delighted. Toby says only steam engines can manage trucks, continued Mavis. How absurd. Depend upon it, Mavis. Anything steam engines can do, we diesels can do better. Diesel knew nothing about trucks, but Mavis didn't realize this. Toby's line crosses with the main road behind the station and for a short way follows a farm lane. Frosty weather makes the muddy lane rock hard and very slippery. Toby stops before reaching the lane. His fireman hot traffic at the crossing and then he sets off again. By using the heavy trucks to push him along, he has no trouble with the frosty rail in the lane. It is the only safe thing to do. Toby, we warned Mavis and told her just what to do. I can manage, thank you, she replied. I'm not an old fuss part like you. The trucks were tired of being pushed around by Mavis. It's slippery, they whispered. Let's push her around instead. On, 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 they yelled. Mavis took no notice. Instead, she brought the trucks gradually down the lane and stopped at the level crossing. All traffic halted. One in the headlamp for Fuss Pop Toby, chortled Mavis. But Mavis had stopped in the wrong place. Instead of taking Toby's advice, she had given the trucks the chance they wanted. Hold back, hold back, they cried. Grrr, up, ordered Mavis. The trucks just laughed and her wheels spun helplessly. Workmen sounded the rails and tried to dig away the frozen mud, but it was no good. Everyone was impatient. Ah! wailed Mavis. Toby was in the yard when he heard the news. I warned her, he fumed. She's young yet, soothed his driver, and she can manage her trucks herself, interrupted Toby. They're your trucks, really, his driver replied. Mavis is supposed to stay at the quarry if the fat controller finds out. Mm, yes, said Toby thoughtfully. He and his driver agreed that it would be best to help Mavis after all. An angry farmer was telling Mavis just what she could do with her train. Having trouble, Mavis? chortled Toby. I am surprised. Grrrush, said Mavis. With much puffing and wheel slip, Toby pushed Mavis and the trucks back. The hard work made his fire burn fiercely, and his firemen spread hot cinders to melt the frozen mud. At last they had finished. Goodbye, called Toby. You'll manage now, I expect. Mavis didn't answer. She took the truck to the shed and 